Max for Live is, in my opinion, the easiest way to get started with a monum. In uh, previous videos, I've demonstrated how Max for Live eases monum setup by taking care of MIDI audio and sync routings, but now I'm going to show you how Live can act as a shell for hosting multiple monum applications and seamlessly switch between them. Uh, here's how it works. I, I have a Live set with uh, various uh, virtual instruments on it, like a Circle, BPM, MX4, Electric Keys, and so on. And I have instances of Oboe, which is just a Max for Live MIDI plugin in front of them. Um, so let's just hear what this sounds like. I've got a drum loop, so uh, we can kind of hear what this sounds like uh, as a timing reference. And um, let's start using Oboe to construct some tracks. So I'm going to start by adding some uh, kick drums with uh, BPM, maybe some hi hat. All right, now let's let's add a bass line. So I'm going to switch over to ultra analog here, and this actually gives me an opportunity to demonstrate um, a user request for oboe, which is uh, MIDI input. Um, so let's do that right now. So you can see it appears on the the monum, and we can edit this, change it to whatever we want. But in case you missed it, this is actually the cool thing. I can switch back to BPM. Edit, and then come back. Um, here's something else. We can add the, the key bindings in, in live. So we'll say this circle's 1, BPM's 2, MX4's... Oops. All right, we'll, we'll just have it be 3, 5, and so on. So now I can just you know hit these keys and switch between them. No problem. Um, so let's add some uh, electric keys. Here we go. Oops, I just added that to ultra analog. That's no problem because we can just edit like that. All right, electric keys now. All right, so um, let's go to MX4, and we have MX4 kind of cycling along on its own here, and then it's syncing every uh, measure. This is another new feature. So it can... I can add in this kind of like random thing, and it's going to sync every measure. It doesn't have to. Let me turn it off, and you can hear what it sounds like. That's playing across the bar, but now we can sync at every measure. So the timing, the pattern's a little bit different. Now, because you can easily chain Max for Live creations together, mono maps can be simpler, but simultaneously more flexible. And here's a good example. Um, in developing Oboe, I was thinking I should make a version of it that had a built-in virtual synthetic drum machine, because I thought that would be kind of handy. And uh, But it turns out there's actually one included with Max for Live, so check this out. Um, here's analog drums, which I'm just going to put on this MIDI track. And I'm going to add Oboe on the front to be the uh, tangible front end. One more time. There we go. Um, there's a, a drum map feature where if I select a drum map, and drum map one actually corresponds to the analog drums here, um, I can just go ahead and enter in these some kick drum, some hi hat, maybe some toms.